so I was just walking through the snow <coughs> and um, you know how when you're younger you like you're trying to make your own footprints and you're not trying to walk in anybody else's footprints in the snow like I've always done that throughout like I genuinely can't remember a time where you know I wasn't trying to make my own footprints in the snow except a couple of times where the snow was like higher than my foot and it's like I had to step into other footprints because the snow kept piling on or whatever but I've always tried to make my own footprints I realized that as I was walking through the snow just now if you're not paying attention to the footprints that are before you the easier path is what you're gonna fall into and it doesn't matter how wide the stride I'm six foot and I'm my stride is a little bit longer than most people's I'm not gonna say most a lot of people but <clears throat> when I was walking in the snow I realized that whoever <laughs> whoever's footprints were before mine because I only seen one set of footprints before mine whoever's footprints those were their stride was shorter but they were also somewhat they were moving all around, like I was walking on the sidewalk and they were moving all around. They didn't necessarily have a straight path. So me trying to make my own, <coughs> my own footprints, I had to also kind of sway a little bit so that I didn't step in their own, their footprints. But I realized that if you're not paying attention, and as I wasn't paying attention, I started to step in those footprints and it's like you know but that's why I brought up that his their stride was shorter than mine because I was I got to a point where I was just trying to make it through the snow rather than making my own trek if you will and that's not something I've ever done or ever really noticed like I've noticed that I would end up in other people's foot footprints in the snow but I was trying to avoid it but now it's like I have a different understanding I cheated and it's not the easiest thing for me to say simply because most people want to be polished and everything like that and I don't you know, I kind of, I, I would rather tell you like it is because I want you to recognize um, that everybody makes mistakes. It's weird because it's not like I didn't mean to cheat. Because, I, you know, I knew what I was doing. I didn't consider the damage that it could do to me by doing it. The worst part about it was not the fact that I cheated. But more so what was cheated and I think that oftentimes when people you know are cheating they're not thinking about the damage well it's it's obvious that they're not thinking about the damage um but it, it's just it doesn't make sense because when you know what you want and you genuinely genuinely want that why go outside of that realm like it, it literally doesn't make sense and I, I've been telling people like when they act like they would ask me like why I cheated I'd be like yo it it doesn't make sense like there really is no logical explanation and I'm saying this and I'm doing this because I want people to see and I want people to take it for what what they feel it is but also, I want people to just think about what they're doing. Because so often, every single day, we all cheat. It's not only an adultery thing. It's not only a, you know, a, a relationship thing. We all cheat on our purpose. And we don't keep in mind <coughs> who we are to be. And by not keeping in mind who we are to be, we lose sight of that. And 
in losing sight of that, we fall short. And for me being who I am, the hardest part about falling short is the fact that I have people looking up to me. I was listening to uh, Jay-Z's 444 and his last verse was uh, If My Children Knew. He starts off, If My Children Knew. He talks about how he um, cheated on Beyonce. <laughs> you know, and it's like, like so many people thought, like, how could you cheat on Beyonce? Like, she's everything. And it's like, she can be everything to even him, and she probably is. But <clears throat> when insecurity gets the best of us, you know, lust gets the best of us, when ego gets the best of us, his ego is, was probably out there. Like, he was probably way far gone when he did it. I wouldn't be surprised. It's easier to fall into, and that's why I was talking about the snow, the, the, the footprints. It's easier to just go with it rather than sticking to who you are and who you want to be and not cheating on your purpose. And I'm not saying that I am Jay-Z's caliber. I'm dope. For somebody of Jay-Z's caliber to have a situation like that where it's like, yeah, I cheated, <clears throat> you know, on who I am to be and who I am and still have the mindset to be like, yo, I messed up and I, I want to make it right, but I don't know how. That insecurity and that the vulnerability is out of this world. I commend him for doing that for, for, on that song and literally throughout the whole album, um, just having that vulnerable vulnerability it's easy to cheat it's not it's not hard to do if you turn off your <clears throat> if you turn off your emotional receptors if you turn off your well, if you turn off your emotions if you turn off your consequence receptions is what I'll say you're not going to you just deal with it that was the situation with me when I cheated I wasn't thinking like about the fact that I would cause myself more pain in doing it than not doing it. Because it's like I know what I'm supposed to be doing and I know where I'm supposed to be and I know what I'm supposed to be doing to get to where I want to be but I just don't do it. It's weird and it pisses you off when you're at that mindset because it's like when guys cheat on like their women and stuff like that. The thing is like, they're not sorry that they did it, but they're sorry that they got caught. You gotta, now you have to deal with the consequences of the fact that you got caught. On top of the fact that you cheated. On top of the fact that you put yourself in a place where you weren't supposed to be. On top of the fact that now you have to deal with the emotional side of it from your perspective, from <clears throat> the, the partner's perspective, from the third party's perspective. Third party? I don't know what it is. Sure. But you gotta deal with like, all right, I'm feeling this. When guys cheat on a woman, it's like, I'm dealing with this. I'm feeling this, she's feeling this, she's feeling this, or he's feeling this, I don't, you know, I don't do that. Hey, I'm not even going to front, it's funny, <clears throat> I remember meeting a um, a gay female, and she was like, she told me a, like a little bit of her life story, and she told me how her and her last partner, like they had like domestic abuse situ issues or whatever. And like, I remember thinking to myself, like, gay women and men go through domestic abuse? And it's like, yes, nigga, like, <laughs> emotions, like, that. <laughs> I just, I, 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 like, I, it made sense, but I just had never thought about the fact that, you know, domestic abuse, it's like, it's just, it was 
off the radar to me because I've always heard about, you know, females getting fed up with, with, with men and then like that's when they turn gay or whatever. <clears throat> but like domestic abuse usually comes from that. I've never thought about or had heard about, you know, it being the fact that like, okay, they, you know, it's just, it's, an, it's a relationship and it's an emotional thing, an emotional thing. Me being who I am, when I cheated, it was like sitting back and thinking about it after. It's like, yo, you got kids, dog. I don't have any biological children yet. But it was like my goddaughter, my godson, my niece, my nephew, to explain to them what the hell I did would be is is going to be confusing because I haven't explained how I cheated yet to them or why I cheated, if you will. As an adult, you <clears throat> you come to certain understandings about life on your own. Nobody has to say it to you. But the understandings that you come to are based on the experience that you have. So for me to have to explain to my kids what I did and why I did it isn't going to make sense until they come to an understanding. So it's like, how do you explain to, how do you explain to somebody who is in algebra, rocket science? I don't know rocket science. I barely know algebra. But I would assume that rocket science is so vastly mentally demanding that somebody who is just starting algebra, a child who's just starting algebra, isn't going to get it. And it's going to be way too confused from like literally a rocket scientist or an astrophysicist. I know that's way more confusing than algebra. But how do you explain that? Because of the fact that this isn't something that's supposed to happen, you're not going to be thinking like, all right, I have to bring this down to algebraic terms so that they can understand it. But they don't understand algebra yet because they have they're just starting it. So it's like that's what I have to deal with <clears throat> when I explain this to my children and in my, my biological children as well. Just you lose out on a lot more than you realize you're gonna lose out on. And it doesn't matter what you cheat on, whether you cheat on your woman, whether you cheat on your man, whether you cheat on your purpose, whether you cheat on your honor. That's kind of where I'm at right now because if I lose everything, my niece loses out on a great support system that is me and that is the things that I have to do. If I lose everything, my nephew loses out on a great support system that is me <clears throat> and everything that I have to do. Like, literally, I'm in my, I'm in my house and I'm like always thinking about, all right, how can I make this situation better for my kids? How can I make this situation better for, you know, my future wife? How can I make this situation better for myself? My, you know, uh, the people that I have to take care of once everything is, you know, together. Is that focused? I'm, I'm gonna be pissed if it's not focused. But it's frustrating because when you're cheating, you're not thinking about anything. But after, you think about everything. And I think that's the most difficult part. Especially when you're trying to turn off your emotions and, you know, you're trying to not deal with the consequences of it. Especially if you're somebody like me. And your whole time, the whole time after, you're just thinking like, yo, Let's move past this. I don't want to deal with it anymore. But your purpose is still like, nah. We got to deal with this, nigga. Like, you stepped out on me. Not me stepping out on you. Having to answer to your purpose is like, you have nothing to say. But yet, you have everything to say. You now have to be put on front street and you have to be honest with your purpose. And be like, yo, I put myself in a position I shouldn't have. 
but I still understand and know that you are my purpose. And it's like, do you say sorry if you walked into it? One of my favorite shows is uh, The Office. Stanley Hudson says, uh, I don't apologize unless I feel I'm wrong. And if you don't like it, you can leave. If you know you were wrong doing it, do you apologize? Because it's like you know. Your purpose knows that you were wrong. You know that you were wrong. Your purpose knows that you're sorry. You know that you're sorry. Does it make sense to keep saying you're sorry? Cheating on your purpose ain't going to get you nowhere. Not being who you're supposed to be isn't going to get you anywhere. Purposely moving wrong isn't going to get you anywhere. Sleeping when you know you're supposed to be awake isn't going to get you anywhere. Spending money that you know you don't have or that you have that you know you have for something more important than whatever you planning on spending it on is not going to get you anywhere. These are all examples of cheating on your purpose. Cheating is an insecurity. I've had to confront that. Cheating is still cheating even if nobody knows. Cheating is still cheating if only you know and God knows. Cheating is still wrong if there's not a partner involved. If I didn't have kids, if I didn't have my niece and nephew, if I didn't have people who are going to come to depend on me, cheating on my purpose would still be wrong. Because everyone has one. And we all cheat. Whether you're willing to accept it. Or be honest with yourself enough to. You know acknowledge it. Every time you're supposed to be. Committed to losing weight. You sneak in a cheat day in. Here and there. Oh look. It's cheat, cheat day. It's in the. I didn't even think about the fact that it's in the word or in the term, classification. Cheating is cheating, even if you're the only one involved.